Hey viewers, my name's Kara, and we are on the last shelf of the bookshelf tour, at least in the books that are at my house. So the last shelf is my witchy bookshelf. Before I do this, though, at the shelf, I'm gonna show you the other little stuff that's lying around my room that should be on the shelf that isn't. Like, I have this little tiny tarot kit, which comes with a book. In the Shadow of Thirteen Moons by Kimberly Sherman Cook is a book that I just recently got, and it is basically dark moon magic. It's working with the shadows of the moon, and it's supposed to be a monthly thing, you know, every time the dark moon comes around, you do the activities and you read the chapter in between. I also have a book called Totem Magic by Yasmin Galanorn, or Galenorn, uh, which a friend of mine is borrowing right now, so I can't show you that. And I also have these couple of books in this other bag, which are supposed to be on the shelf, but I had them at school with me. So I have these. Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. I'm in the process of doing a really long spreadsheet with all the research about herbs and their magical properties. Scott Cunningham's Wicca, I talk about this all the time. By Oak, Ash, and Thorn, Modern Celtic Shamanism by DJ Conway. I've had this book for several years. It's from a friend of my mom's, gave it to us years ago. I've had it and never read it. I finally read it this past year. I really enjoyed it. And then here is another book that I just recently bought, Earth Power by Scott Cunningham, Techniques of Natural Magic. Really enjoyed this book. Um, I really like that Scott Cunningham always has a lot of, oh, and it has nice pictures too, a lot of examples for things. So a lot of examples of exercises and things that you can do. I also have a book that's currently in my dorm room on campus that is called The Goodly Spellbook by uh, two people from Coven Oldenwild, and I'll show you that in the later video, but that should also be with my witchy books, but it's not here. I think that might be all of the witchy books that are not currently here, so now I'm going to move to the actual shelf. Oh, just kidding. Here's my fairy ring oracle, and that comes with a book, so there's that. Franklin and Mason. Oh, I also have this little book up here that my boyfriend just bought for me for Christmas. It's called I Like You. It's very cute. Up here on top of this bookshelf, I have this uh, unicorn journal that I got years ago. Sorry, there's plastic on it because this leaks, and so I don't want my books getting all wet if it rains too hard. So that's a unicorn journal that I've been using kind of as my book of shadows a little bit, and then I have Living Wicca by Scott Cunningham, which is kind of the sequel to Wicca. Now for the actual shelf. My goodness, it's taken me forever to get here. I have some crystals and stuff back there, and this is a container of ribbons. Sorry about the lighting in here. Um, this is A Thousand and One Meditations. I have not read through this whole thing, but every once in a while I open it up and look at one or two. I have the Gypsy Dream Dictionary by Raymond Buckland, because I'm really into dream analysis. I don't find as many helpful symbols in this book, but there's a couple. It just, it really, it's not very inclusive. It's, it's certain things that were known to be symbols in gypsy tradition. And I apologize for those of you who think that that word is a racial slur. That's not how I see it, and that's not how a lot of people I know see it, so I apologize, but that is the name of this book. So, Irish Fairy Tales, edited by Leslie Conran, looks like it. Yeah, so that's a book of Irish fairy tales, go figure. An Alphabet of Spells by Ellen Hawke. I really enjoy this little book. I got these all as gifts from people, which is also why I own Silver's Spells for Prosperity by Silver Ravenwolf. I really don't like a lot of these. I call them insta-witch spells because they're the kind that's like, here's all the things you need, and here's the exact words you say, and here's how you're doing magic now. And I really just don't think that's how magic works, so I would not own that book except for the fact that someone got it for me. The Supermarket Sor Sorceress by Alexa Rosian is a book that I really enjoy. It's a bunch of little practical spells that can be done with ingredients that you would find at the supermarket. Flower Fairies of the Garden by Cicely Mary Barker, little flower fairies poems. Spell Crafts by Scott Cunningham with David Harrington. It's about um, magical objects and just how to make them and how to use them. I haven't really done much of anything with crafts from that book, but it's there. Here we go, The Way of the Horned God by Dancing Rabbit. I really like this book, and I did a review of it, so I have that video I can show you. Write Your Own Magic by Richard Webster. I really enjoy this book. I read it this past summer. It's all about the power of the written word in magic, and basically a lot of petition magic. This is the book that goes along with The Angel Oracle by Ambika Waters, uh, which I have those cards up there in that little box, and I don't read this oracle yet because it seems really involved, and it's a very different system than what I'm even used to with the fairy ring oracle, but I have that. These are just little things. One World, One Heart is kind of like poems and positive affirmation type stuff. And then I have a little book on the tarot. I have the Celtic Tarot by Courtney Davis, so that's the deck and the book that goes along with it. Tarot for a New Generation. Solitary Witch by Silver Ravenwolf, which I've said a million times I would recommend to beginners as a resource. 
not as the end-all be-all, but as a very good beginning resource. If you don't know anything about a topic, she gives good, like, basic beginning instructions, and then you can look into it further on your own. <laughs> this is a big series, Enhancing Your Mind, Body, Spirit, and they, like, they mail you, like, 10 or 20 cards at a time, and this is the volume that includes spells and magic and Wiccan traditions, and so I have it in here. It's actually my mom's, but I have it in here because I have been referring to it. I have this book called The Goddess, which is just stories and history of the goddesses place in history in cultures all around the world throughout time. So how different cultures at different times viewed the goddess and why the goddess has always been important and basically where goddess worship comes from. This is the Healing Herbs book, The Ultimate Guide by Michael Castleman. I've gotten a lot of my research about what herbs are good for what from here and also um, things to watch out for, like don't use this herb if this applies to you kind of thing. And then this is another Dream Decoder by Dr. Fiona Zucker, which has some good things in it. This was from my mom's gift shop, so it was a reference book there, and she gave it to me since then. Has some good things in it, but again, like the Gypsy Dream Dictionary, it leaves out a lot of obvious things. But that is the last shelf of my bookshelves within this house, so thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been interesting to see what I have on my shelves, and I will see you next time for the next whatever videos on this channel, so thanks. Bye!